So I was asked a question recently that scared me, mostly because I didn't have a clear cut answer for it. That question was, did I think that AI generative tools would effectively adopt my role or remove my role as a musician and a songwriter within the next five years. And yeah, sure, the mindset of AI is gonna replace us all is a bit doom and gloom, but you know, is it partially accurate in some instances? AI is a fast progressing disruptor. The landscape of the internet as we know it is about to change. Just this week, we've had significant updates with the release of OpenAI's ChatGPT 4.0 and Google's AI updates as well. For example, Google just shared that they are implementing AI into the fundamental design of their search engine, where AI-generated information will be prioritized within search results, effectively burying a lot of valuable and independently created content. Things are moving fast. So what about musicians and songwriters? Is AI likely to affect our roles in the future? Lots of different angles to come at this from, and lots of different caveats to this. So we should also clarify at the top of today's video here that we're talking about generative tools that creatives might look to harness to make their creative process easier. The creative process, the songwriting window, to me is sacred. Nobody's touching that, especially AI. I don't know if it's just me, but no thank you. <laughs> For a writer, that's where your creativity and your originality shine the most. And I think it's also the time throughout our careers where actually we're developing the most as well and learning more about ourselves as artists. So if this question scared you too, I wanted to put your mind at ease and explain to you why I think the music that you and I create as human beings will always have advantage over AI generated music. I'd also like to clarify here before we begin that I'm not at all saying that we shouldn't be embracing AI at this point. I know and you should know too that it's here to stay. AI can be used by artists as a tool for some aspects of what you do. I'll talk more on how I use AI on the admin side a little later in the video. If you release music yourself and you're an artist like me who does the same, we have a very powerful advantage over AI that perhaps you haven't thought about yet. The one thing that AI generated music will never have with its listeners is connection. When you release a song, those listeners know who it came from, where it came from. They know that what they're hearing is coming from a beaten heart and a creative mind. The caveat here is generative AI tools now, today, forget five years from now, today, they are are already incredibly impressive at spitting out a song from start to finish in a matter of minutes. But one thing that we'll never have is connection, just like a live show. For artists like you and me who are front facing, who put ourselves out there in the world where our audience knows who we are, I don't think that AI is going to be competition for us directly. However, the people that do come to my mind in terms of like whose role might be compromised because because of AI being thrown into the ring, my mind goes to studio musicians, people who, you know, whose livelihoods kind of revolved around building portfolios of library music, writing specifically for sync, for TV and film. I can see how songwriters who work explicitly within that realm uh, might be a little more scared of how AI could really be filling the gaps in, in, in terms of what they do. I am always down for adopting new tech in what I do as an artist, in my music releases and particularly in the visuals that surround those music releases. In the past I've created a string of music videos within Unreal Engine to kind of build a world that the viewers and the listeners can kind of step into. For that same EP I built a RPG that was linked again to the stories of the songs that they would hear on that EP and they can play that in my Discord even today. I love building creative add-ons to the music that I put out there. It's something that I've always kind of prided myself on and I like to think that it adds a another dimension to the music that I put out in the world. So yeah, I'm all about adopting new tech and I haven't fully explored any other creative ways that AI could be implemented into what I do because it puts me off, because it doesn't feel pure. It would go nowhere near the creative process for me in terms of how the music is written, how the lyrics are written. One of the things that I have found ChatGPT in particular useful for is mostly on the admin side of things. I am more than happy to delegate menial tasks that I really don't want to take on in my day to day to something that I know that can spit it out in a matter of seconds. Generating a spreadsheet of publications that I might want to reach out to on the next press release, 
it makes sense for anyone, I think, to be using it in that capacity, but also um, double checking its work. I have found that it is definitely still not accurate in a lot of different places, and I'm sure you've found that too. So yeah, it's definitely useful in that kind of area for me on the admin side. So yeah, when you see an AI bot just kick out lyrics in a matter of seconds, uneasiness does set in. It's definitely a level of inadequacy you feel, and there's a lot of question marks around, wait, hang on, where is this where, 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 where is this learning from, right? To demonstrate just how powerful AI tools have become, we're gonna try out Suno, an eerie yet beautifully crafted acoustic ballad about AI taking over the world. In a digital world, they start to rise. Invisible threads, they leave their disguise. I mean, it's terrible. Create a pop rock song about you know, losing your way, lost in the shadows, and themic powerful pop rock. The ear picks up on the fact that it doesn't sound quite right. Yeah, so this is Suno. Okay, what is spat out to us is not good, but it's complex in its output, right? It's it's spitting out dynamic shifts and chord changes and melodic vocals to the point where, wow, it's like, it, this is the first time I've like used a music AI tool to see what it's capable of. I've seen other people use them, so I know what it's capable of, but there is a huge question mark in my head like how what, how is it able to do this right where is this learning it sh it's shift from Suno is building a future where anyone can make great music we're a team of musicians and artificial intelligent experts based in Cambridge we are proud alumni of pioneering tech companies like Meta, TikTok and Kensho where our founding team worked together before starting Suno what is the model based on are the songs that I generate using Suno subject to copyright protection the availability and scope of copyright protection for content generated using AI is a complex and dynamic area of law, meaning no one's figured out how to regulate this shit yet. Rapidly evolving and varies amongst countries, we encourage you to consult a qualified attorney to advise you about the latest development and the degree of copyright protection available for the output you generate using Suno. Wild, wild. Where is it learning from? They ask for attribution if you use the songs generated with their website. So does that mean that it's based off of an existing library of music that they've created for themselves? I don't know if that's the case, but that's what I would expect, especially if it's a team of musicians behind this, right? If this thing is not learning from music that exists out there in the world just in general, which I f I'd find hard to believe. But if it's learning from a dedicated library of music that has been composed and created, created purely for the use case of being a database for stuff like this to pull from, then, then, okay, fine, I get it. Where does Suno learn? The generated songs are often impressive and some people are reporting switching their listening habits from Spotify to Suno. Who's doing that? <laughs> <laughs> but there are hints that Suno, like many other generative AI companies, may train its models on copyrighted work without permission. This comes from Music Business Worldwide. This is an article specifically about Suno and uh, what it's trained on. There are hints that Suno, like many other generative AI companies, may train its models on copyrighted work without permission. My question is, if that is the case, why are they not being required to put that on a public facing website to show people who are using it? What they do put in their FAQs is, oh, you might need to contact a lawyer about that. We're not sure, which says to me that they, that it must be learning from existing copyright written material. Suno has not disclosed what it is using as training data. These hints suggest there is a decent possibility Suno trains on copyrighted music without consent. So yeah, I think it's pretty obvious that that's exactly what's happening here. This model is being trained on existing music that is out there in the world. So without any kind of uh, retribution, I'm sure they're probably got a few lawsuits against them, but let's move on anyway. It's learning from existing music out there, right? It's Frankensteining together what it believes to be 
uh, the song you want, dependent on the prompt you put in. I guess the question sprouted in my mind also around, like, you know, would future artists become a, a little bit more lazy, uh, knowing that there's tools out there that can just, like, you know, help them with lyrics real quick if they're really, really struggling. And you know, is there anything wrong with that if they don't have any immediate collaborators around them? I still think yes. I still think I strongly feel, I strongly feel you should not be using AI to generate your lyrics. Give them to me, I will write them for you. Just don't let AI do it, please. I get it, like lyrics are a struggle and the areas that perhaps you don't shine at the most, it's a struggle to pull together the last part of the puzzle so you can really hear your idea in full. It's just a, my personal opinion, right? As a, as a purist in all of this. So is AI generated music competition? In a lot of ways, yeah. Streaming platforms are already struggling to manage the mammoth mountain of AI-generated music that their platforms are being flooded with. And for smaller artists in particular, it makes the wall of noise, that mountain to climb, just that little bit higher. Artists already feel buried under what is already a very unstable infrastructure that does not compensate songwriters in general, anyway. We don't feel valued, we're not valued. That's a whole topic for another video. But the fact that now the components of what we do in the background, the cogs that have to turn to pull an idea together, the thought that just a generative AI tool can do that for you in a matter of seconds is, uh, makes me feel a little bit sick to my stomach, yeah. We also have to talk about accessibility here because in many ways, anyone can write a song now or at least pull a song from out of thin air through using an AI generative tool. For somebody who's always wanted to write a song but has never known how to, I can see how that would be an exciting th thing. But as writers, as musicians, as songwriters, if you ever find yourself leaning on chat GPT for lyrics or a certain AI generative tool to create your song, your song, from start to finish. There's there's a disconnect there and there's a problem. I think you need to look at that. But I guess everybody is doing what they do for different reasons and not everybody is a purist, which kind of breaks my heart a bit. The positive takeaway from this is that people, humans, can't empathize truly with AI generated music because it's hollow, right? There's nothing real there. And we know that it's Frankensteining things together from what it already knows of songs that already exist in the world. I mean, where else is it learning that shit from, right? The not so positive takeaway from it is generative AI tools are incredibly impressive in terms of their output and what they can do. I think what's important to mention here are passive listeners. I'd define a passive listener as somebody who throws on a playlist or a piece of music for convenience, for background noise. They have no particular passion for what they're hearing, they just want something to kind of help them through their day, right? An active listener I would define as somebody who is seeking out songs from a particular artist they love or a particular genre they love. Having that passion, listening with open ears because they connect to whatever is being heard. And we are all active and passive listeners. I throw on like a lo-fi playlist when I'm working throughout the day and it just kind of helps me be a bit more focused in what I'm doing. I wouldn't say in that instance I'm particularly passionate about what I'm hearing. It's very much down to convenience and whatever playlist the robot throws on for me if I ask her to play something, right? Whereas a band that I love, I will go out and pick up their limited edition shit. I will go to a show. I will actively seek out their songs, read up on their lyrics, because I have a connection to their work and what they do and the messages in the songs. This pug is so loud. <laughs> I promise it's not me fighting. Maybe. With an artist, you know what you're getting. With AI, you don't. But there will be instances where the listeners are none the wiser because they are passively listening. They might not even question it because AI-generated music does sound passable. So yeah, circling back to the question of do I think that AI has the capacity to remove my role as an artist, as a songwriter, to compromise that within the next five years? I think it already has that capacity, but not necessarily for every musician artist or songwriter. I think pools of people within the industry, particularly those who are studio musicians, I think there's a lot of gaps that for people creating TV shows, 
films. It might be cheaper on their end to use AI to fill in those gaps where they don't necessarily want to pay X amount for a certain songwriter to do it. I, I don't know. That That's my first thought as to who I think would be affected initially. Can AI be used in a positive way in the creative process? For me, on the songwriting side, I'm not interested. If you enjoyed my little waffle today, think about subscribing. Do it. And also think about writing your own songs and not using any form of AI generative tools to assist you in doing so because you're better than that. I know you can do it, but use it for the boring admin shit. Oh my God, please do that. If you've enjoyed this video, I would love to know your thoughts on the question posed in the title. Leave them below in the comments. Thank you very much to these beautiful patrons on my Patreon for making these videos possible. I love you guys. An epic symphony made exclusively from bug puppy snorts, barks, and grumble noises. Symphony of Pugs. <laughs>